Welcome, everybody. I'm so lucky I'm here with Arthur L. Dawson. You are our uh, artist for the month in January. Of course, this is very strange because, because of COVID, a lot of it is virtual still. But uh, <clears throat> hopefully, you know, you'll get something out of it. And I know we'll get something out of it. And I know for sure our audience will get something out of it. So first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. I read your bio, but you know, people may not have read your bio. You've been doing art since you were a little kid. What drew you to visual arts and you know, what does it do for you? Uh, okay, well, first of all, as you know, my name is Arthur, Arthur L. Dawson and uh, I'm from uh, Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, technically, I grew up just outside in, in, in Wakulla, Wakulla, Florida. And um, uh, as, a, as a child growing up, it is the, the suburbs of Tallahassee, it's, it's, it's a more rural area. And uh, so uh, our we didn't have neighbors that were uh, neighbors in the in the in the uh, traditional sense of right next door. You know, your neighbor could have been, was quite a distance, maybe a quarter of a mile or so from where you were, and um, you had to uh, we had to entertain ourselves. So um, creativity became the method, and uh, art. Um, was 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 my choice of uh, expressing myself, and I started around six or seven, and um, just creating. Um, I think I started started out creating comics, my own comics, and uh, featuring myself as the superhero, and kind of progressed on from there to um, clay products, and 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 uh, and then you know eventually. Um, on into school, I, I dabbled into various uh, mediums, um, and um, that was my start. And that's that 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 kind of fueled my passion. And then you know, of course, like your your uh, your uh, work took a turn when you started doing forensic art. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, um, I, I I did uh, uh, a six year stint in the in the uh, military in the uh, army, and uh, after I got out. Um, I wanted to try, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I just knew I wanted to try something that was different within the arts. And uh, an opportunity came up um, where um, I was doing something, I was working on a project for a lady and uh, the project was, um, she had a son that had drowned at the age of seven. And uh, she had a photo and she wanted, at the, at the time we were talking, it, it would have been his 15th birthday. So um, she wanted me to do a, uh, a portrait of him um, and draw him as he would look at the age of 15. And um, I did. And unbeknownst to me that I was being watched where someone was watching me do this and they were, uh, uh, they were just fresh out of it. Someone in law enforcement and they had just come out of uh, Quantico, Virginia. That's the, uh, the Bureau of the FBI's training academy. And they said, well, you know, we're, 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 in, we're forensic specialists and what you're doing is unique. Most people can't do that without training. So how did you learn? I'm just like, well, it was just natural. And so, they kind of recruited me into. So, how would you like to do this as a profession? And I said, yeah, "Where do I sign up?" And it was just that, and, and we just kind of move uh, forward uh, from there. And I, I got uh, a lot of different cases after I, I um, after I finished my training, and um, um, I kind of had a knack for it. So I was kind of on loan to a lot of different uh, agencies uh, doing forensics projects. Um, I was what you call a fully trained forensic artists where most people you know forensics from uh maybe you see them on tv as csi or you may see a uh, a uh, what you call a composite artist um though that's one aspect and so it's it's uh you have artists that recreate for demonstrative evidence which is courtroom presentation and then you have composite art and then you have age progression from uh from Photos is usually a missing person. I worked a lot with uh, 
missing with the, the National Missing Children's Bureau. And uh, the fourth, which was the most interesting uh, to me, which was age progression from decomposed remains. I meant um, facial reconstruction from decomposed remains, where if you find a skull and you wanted to know what the person used to look like, then that's when you would give me a call. So that was a part of my uh, uh, journeys in art. It, 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 it was the science part. Uh, and, and then of course, after, after some years, I don't know how long, but uh, you came back to like pure quote unquote fine arts. And yeah, so the traditional, the traditional arts, uh, uh, thanks to the egging of a lady, she's now gone, God rest her soul, um, Lois Maylou Jones. And Lois taught at Howard University for 40, I think it was 40, 43 years, I think it was, somewhere along there, 43, 45, something like that. And um, my first professional art show was with Lois Jones. Um, and she, uh, uh, she was getting a, a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, it, was at, it was in Atlanta. And uh, I remember um, it was called the Peachtree Gallery. Um, Gladys Lippincott managed the the peace tree gallery and I, I believe it was owned by a president ex-president jimmy carter um it's, it's, it, we had some conversations about that but yeah i think he was the owner of it and and we uh they were giving lois a lifetime achievement award and there were a lot of media there and she stopped her interview to tell the media uh to talk a little bit about me and what she said, uh, uh, when she finished her interview, people just bombarded my ex. Because I was in the back of the gallery. She was located in the front. And that, that jump-started my uh, fine arts career. Because everything she told those people to come back and look at my work and support what I was doing. And they did. And um, that kind of just jump-started everything. So she, she, she was, I, I consider her... Uh, my mentor, although we didn't talk that much, uh, we, she was always there to instruct me on the next level. Very, very good. And uh, so for the past, like, you know, many years now, you've been also very active as an entrepreneur, you know, like uh, you've started all kinds of different ventures. You're a very busy person. You kind of were ahead of the curve as far as uh, being very creative with your ventures. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, I started out um, doing, um, uh, I, I knew I, I needed exposure. So I went to the uh, trade shows, the art shows. I, I'm not sure if they're still doing it, but it was a, uh, it was a, a magazine called Decor Magazine. It had these decor shows and you can go, and this is where people in the industry, this is where um, you go to sell to the, uh, you would sell wholesale to the retailers. So if you had deck the walls, for instance, they were a client of mine at one time. So they they would come to the the decor shows to find art artists or artwork that they wanted to sell in their stores. And I remember um, grabbing a couple of prints that I had uh, uh, bedtime and attending church were my two most popular um, images, and I took them down and. Um, I remember the first day I got so I got sales. I didn't even have a booth. I was just walking around showing um, people what I could do because I didn't know the business. I didn't know the art business. This was uh, my first adventure um, in, in, in business as an entrepreneur, as an artist. And um, I, uh, I went down to the show and, and, and I got my first sale. Uh, I think they ordered 50 each of my uh, prints and that's how it got started. And then they went out and they put them in their catalog and then everybody else started putting the works in the catalog. So I started the, I think um, the name I was working under, I started the Ethnic Visions was the first uh, name of my company. And um, I got the works out and they took off. They, they were selling around the country and then I, you know, started to export some. Uh, overseas to different uh, locations and it just kind of worked and from there uh, with name I was beginning to get name recognition so with name recognition came other opportunities and uh, being an artist or the type of artist that 
I am. Um, art is art. So I, I, I never put it in a box. I never looked at it in a one dimensional format where if you're a painter, you only paint. You, uh, you know, if you draw, you only draw. That's, uh, I look at things a little differently. It's, it's art is art. So whether you're sculpting, drawing, photography, you know, all of it. And I was interested in all of it because I wanted to be an artist. To me, that's, that's what artists do. You know, you do art, you're creative, and you use all the mediums, as many as you, as you, uh, as, as, as you can. And um, because each one teaches you a little bit more about the next. Drawing is going to tell you a lot about how you approach painting, and your painting is going to uh, open the door and show you a lot about how you approach sculpture, and so on and so on. And, and, and then when you get into derivatives or what I would call derivatives uh, like comic art or uh, um, editorials um, where you get to have fun and it's very loose and you get to tell a different kind of story in a, in a, in a different kind of way using those formats. So it was, um, it was just a natural progression. Um, uh, a lot of times it was just as simple as supply and demand someone wanted something so they will come to me and can you create this uh sure um you know uh in this case it was it was uh my first chance to publish a, a, a an actual comic book which was uh tobacco avengers it was for the uh it was it was an education based comic somewhat um in response to the there was a big settlement, I think around 98, 99 with the tobacco company. So all the money had to be used to develop educational material that related to tobacco. So I didn't want to do anything that was too preachy. I just want to do some fun that the kids might enjoy, big kids and, 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 and little kids. And so I came up with uh, the concept of Tobacco Avengers and had these guys with superpowers. And so I kind of uh, played around with that for a little while. And, uh, uh, enjoyed the comic world. I'm a big fan of film, so I, I, a lot of film in, uh, has influenced my path with with some of the pieces, uh, some of the series that I chose to to create. So um, comics was kind of fill that void or fill that spot. But it was a natural progression to get into comics, to get into you know uh, the, the photography and being a forensics. I uh, part of the duties and responsibilities was you you had to learn uh, film. You had to you did photography. From an entrepreneur perspective, I had it, it was it was a, a thing where you you have ideas, and as you travel, which I was very fortunate to be able to travel around the country, you got ideas because you saw what other artists was doing, and you and, you know you get the chance to uh, talk with manufacturers and and see. Uh, what they were doing and they, you know, you may kick around some ideas about a new type of hoodie or something with artwork um, that's 3D and that kind of stuff. And so, you you know, you, you think about it and say, okay, I'll, I'll try it and you put it out there and then that's another tier, if you will, to um, what you're doing. So now you're doing, you're, you're doing clothing designs and, 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 but it was just a natural thing that, um, that sort of happened. It wasn't necessarily planned. Very good. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you, everybody. Um, we don't have like a million events in January. It just so happens like that. Um, but we're, that doesn't mean we're not busy. We're very busy. Uh, but people can see your art uh, on your website. Yeah, it's um, ArthurDawson.com. Uh, yeah, or on, and... on Facebook at Arthur.Dawson.94. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct? Um, uh, yes. It's art, but it's Art Dawson on Instagram. Art Dawson on Instagram. Thank you, everybody, and thanks for watching.